Okay, a quick little video today benchmarking my 3090 graphics card with the Reverb G2. The point of this video really is you can just compare it to whatever setup you might have at the moment and potentially any you might get in the future, whether that be a 30 series graphics card or the G2 or whatever. I'm also going to overclock it quite simply just with Afterburner and see what that does to our performance. The program we're going to be using uh, is a simple free program on Steam called OpenVR Benchmark. Great little program, and yet it'll just give you a result. Great for comparisons, uh, whether you're tweaking or upgrading, etc. And it's just purely for VR. So initially, we're going to be running this without any overclock. And this is how Afterburner looks just by default. I've not touched anything here. So, yeah, completely stock uh, graphics card. And so let's not waste any time, let's jump straight in. I'm going to bring over the non overclock video here and just get it running. Okay, you can see my system details there. Now, bear in mind, <laughs> I had to record this with the phone on the screen because I didn't want the OBS running because that does hit the results. I did try it, but yeah, it took off a percentage uh, at the end, um, much better without OBS running. Uh, yeah, so you can see the FPS down at the bottom. It takes about a minute and you've got the frame time down there in the bottom right. In the headset, it does look very jerky. The point of this isn't to hit 90 frames per second. It overtaxes your system. That's the point, like, generally with benchmarks. So you just got to let it run for a minute and see what result you get. Again, I apologise just for the, uh, the camera work with the phone, but, you know, gets the job done. Uh, this benchmark's running with the game Cube VR, which actually does look pretty decent. Obviously, it's a Minecraft kind of game, but purely made for VR from the ground up. So, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Never played it myself, but uh, I might pick it up. Keep an eye on it in the sales, I suppose. Okay, and then it's going to generate your results. So this is non-overclock results, 32.66, which is pretty good. And as it says, this result is normal for this GPU headset config. Uh, yeah, 32.66, 32 so that's my stock with no overclock. And you can use that result to compare what you've got at the moment. So let's jump on now to an overclock version. Uh, let's close this load up my profile now what I've done is obviously I whacked up the top three core clock I've got it up to 160 when I got to 170 it was crashing in um, 3d mark etc so I just load down to the next lowest whole number you know 160 uh, memory clock just bashed up to a thousand tried it a bit higher had issues so I just kept it a thousand seems great it's easy an easy little boost there right so we've got that running and this is the results I got running it with the uh, overclock. Same thing, filming it with the phone on the screen. Don't want OBS affecting my frame rate, my performance. It's hard really to see what sort of benefit you're getting at the moment. You've just really got to wait for the result. In fact, we don't even need to sit through all of this, do we? Let's skip it on a little bit. And let's just get to result. And look at that, 36.6. That's quite a big jump when you think about it. And it says this result exceeds normal results for this GPU headset config. Awesome. Obviously, it should exceed normal because it's overclocked. So yeah, I did uh, initially overclock it with just the GeForce performance uh, overlay because the OC scanner in Afterburner doesn't work with the 30 series cards, certainly not the 3090. But that gave me a tiny boost, made little difference. But yeah, Afterburner just whacked it up. Um, took me a few goes to find where it wouldn't crash. Um, 3D Mark, and stress test it. And there we go, nice little jump. So 36.6. Um, and as I say, the point of this video is really just so you can compare it to what you've got or what you might get. 
and see how your results stack up. 36.6 with an overclocked founders edition 3090. So uh, yeah, there we go. That's all this was. And uh, that'll do for now. I'll catch you later. Cheers.